And we're back. With Sarah is missing. And what'd she say? Aya? Mm -hmm. Had something weird on it? I think it was Aya. Alright, I gotta hold and click. Sarah's actions. It's unusual. Thanks, Iris. I almost said Siri. <laughs> How do you know what is unusual? Yeah. What the fuck? Through various calculations of Sarah's regular activities and choices that she makes in her daily life. Fucking stalker. Is she always like that? Her recent behavior shows that she is suffering from abrupt and a, uh, apparently unaccountable change of mood. Possibly due to a relationship issue. Fucking stalker. But I'm no doctor. Oh, well, you better stop there then. <laughs> <coughs> You're freaky, Iris. I like it. Want to do butt stuff? I'm no doctor. Okay, bye, Iris. Oh, she didn't want to do butt off, stuff. She didn't want to do yeah. butt stuff. <laughs> Uh, she said Faith had something to do with her, too. I guess I'll just hold. Or I won't. I'll try it again. Okay. What the fuck is that? Uh, a what per gis knocked curious? Yeah, that sounds German. Is that German? Okay. Night in English is one of the Dutch and German names for the night of April 30th. Okay. All right. Okay. Is that the night she disappeared? So called because it is the eve of the feast day of St. Wadburga, an 8th century abbess. Well, I don't know what any of that means. It's believed to be the night of the witches' meeting. Oh. Okay. Do people still practice this? Well, of course. Yeah, evidently. Why would Sarah be involved in this? I think we kind of got that from Faith. Yeah. What should we do next? Iris. I fear that Sarah is involved in something deeper. So deep. What stuff? <laughs> all, all two inches. I think there might be more clues. Thanks, Iris. I fucking hope so. I believe the gallery is corrupted. Yeah, I tried that. Hmm, let's try it again. Oh, yeah, still fucking corrupted. Thanks, Iris. Oh. Um. There's some more memos. Oh, it's the same things. I believe that the gallery is corrupted. Okay, more memos? Is it more memos? Or... Look through Sarah's messages and emails. Tap and hold on anything that looks suspicious. All of it looks suspicious. Also, her phone battery is super fucking awesome because it's still at 23%. <laughs> Find clues in Sarah's phone, which might reveal where she is. Uh, Do we check the, yeah, we didn't check the mail yet. Travel Airbnb. Um, eight, eight to unknown times. All right, we'll stop from top. Hello, Sarah. Great to start. Great start to your London 2017 wish list. Oh, she's so, such a poor girl. Oh, so oh, bad. Wish list. She has a wish, wish list in London for the year? Show off your great taste. Save your favorites by tapping on the heart. If you're traveling with friends, maybe don't kill them also. Uh, this is an automatic email. Please do not reply. Let's reply. Oh, wait. There's no reply button. <laughs> Hello, Sarah. Thanks for extending your stay with every B&B. &B. Here is your confirmation info. Four days. Laura's single apartment. We hope to continuously serve you better. We hope you never check out. Fucking rich ass bitch. Oh, poor me. I get to stay in an Airbnb <laughs> in London. Jeebus shops here. Oh. Hello, Sarah. It's your birthday month. Celebrate your birthday with us. Here's what we have lined up exclusively for you. Two times points on your purchase. Two times? Damn! Let's go shopping! Super points. Oh, my God. 10% off your... <laughs> 10% off your online order this month. Complimentary brow wax and shape service. Okay. Uh, book your appointment today. Terms and conditions apply from the Jeebus Shops here team. Our church also receives 90%. It's a fucking church shop that waxes people, and it's called Jeeba Jeebus Shops here? Okay. This is fucking weird. Our <laughs> church also receives 90% donations from your purchases. Okay. I guess. Foreign United. K for coffee. That's not how you spell coffee. I mean, that's how you spell coffee, but you don't start it with a K. Try our new carpet-flavored coffee beans. Featuring Persian and Arabic carpets. F <laughs> fucking what? <laughs> coffee? Are they selling carpets or coffee? <laughs> They're selling carpets with stains of coffee on it. <laughs> oh, I know what I these no messages idea. look like. These are dating app fucking messages. Mingles.io, three matches for Sarah. Daryl, 31, Gerald for you, and Buds for life. Yeah, I'm not responding to Buds for life. He sounds like a bro. <laughs> Which, coincidentally... <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sarah. Y23? 
Seven days without love makes one week. Oh, I get it. You're punny. On Mingle... Yeah, okay, we're done with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, buddy! That's the, that's the, that's the uh, over-sexual fucking text message guy that we didn't read. Oh, she met sorry. him on fucking uh, Mingles, I guess. Hey, Sarah, I'm looking... F- I'm forwarding this to you. It's from a friend, and I think you should be careful. Rihanna loves whips and chains, but I doubt her ancestors felt the same way. Wh- Jesus fucking Christ! Holy fuck, <laughs> dude! Uh, okay. Is that supposed to be sexy? <laughs> Rihanna loves whips and chains, but remember, slavery. It's a like, fucking what? Yeah, that gets me wet. Happy birthday, Sarah. <laughs> How lucky are you for being born on Valentine's Day? Oh, it was Valentine's Day and her birthday that the fucking dude left? Oh, shit. That's kind of... And he didn't... It was kind of a dick move that he didn't discuss it with her. I mean, like, if they discussed it and it was cool, then yeah, I get it. But they sound like they were kind of one of those shitty relationships anyway, so... How lucky are you for being born on Valentine's Day? We wish our coolest member with one of our favorite poems. Poem for my 43rd birthday. She's 43? No, no, no. What? To end up alone in a tome of a room without cigarettes or wine, just a light bulb and a pot belly, gray-haired and glad to have the room. Charles Bukowski. Okay. From the We Steal from the Dead Society. P.S. Do, uh, do send us your latest work from our catalog purposes only. Or catal- cataloging purposes? What? Uh, I'm um, confused on that one, but... All right. That's an awfully uh, personalized letter from a... From what I assume to just be a group message thing. Like, oh, enter your birthday, and then on your birthday you get a personalized email. Mm-hmm. Although, like, happy birthday, Sarah. Okay, still personalized and still kind of, like, auto-written. But how lucky are you for being born on Valentine's Day seems a little specific. Mm-hmm. Party invite by uh, Kamar Mira. Oh, happy days. Oh, happy days. Okay. All right. Thanks for the party invite. Ghost. Ghost by uh, P- Professor Hassan. On the virus note, I was referring to the computer virus hidden on the 11th essay. That's not entirely true. The virus was the essay. But who was phone? You have brought up a good point. How would a person who was cybernized at an early age like the major develop properly i would imagine that uh they would have left the pituitary gland untouched overall development in all areas of the human body and psyche would present a conundrum which cyber cybernization is introduced into what the fuck kind of is this real like is that are dude, these I'm real so words what's going on now J.D. Salinger is real enough, but the man who wrote the Individual Eleven, the book containing ten essays of revolution, Patrick Sylvester, is a fictional creation of uh, Shiro Masamune, uh, is a as a plot device for the second season. What is this guy having a stroke while writing his fucking email? This, this there's no. However, the the themes from Standalone Complex are not in the Catcher in the Rye or the Laugh. Okay, this is a fucking code. Or The Laughing Man. These books are merely being referred to quite a lot, though. What? Standalone Complex is uh, uh, Ghost in the Shell. Although I don't know why Complex isn't capitalized. Mm -hmm. Catcher in the Rye is a book. The Laughing Man, I'm pretty sure, is a book also. Um, J.D. Salinger. That all makes sense, but I don't see the correlation between them. This topic is something I have wondered off and on myself. First, let me run a biological perspective. One, with cyborg bodies and cyborg brains, we would not get real viruses. We also would not have any immune... Why the fuck wouldn't we have an immune system if we had cyborg bodies and brains? Your brain is still organic. Well, I mean, yeah. Because cyborg is both organics and fucking technology. So why would you be immune to disease? I guess maybe question, like yeah. nanorobots yeah. or some shit. Um, and we would not have any endocrine system. Why? Without an endocrine system, we have no hormones. Yeah, why wouldn't we? No testosterone, no estrogen, no ugh, progesterone, no adrenaline. Uh, would we act like people without these basic chemicals in our bodies? Uh, fuck no. I mean, like really weird people probably. Uh, <laughs> men, Robot I don't think would be the same. Robot people. Or even close. I bet the two sexes would perhaps be closer, but between, uh, but people would drift farther apart. Why would you need to be with anyone? I don't, I don't, I don't know, Professor Dickweed. 
Second, the philosophical stuff. This is something I am bad at, so please to excuse so please to excuse me. Do people fucking talk like this? Uh, uh, I don't know. I haven't verified at the library the works cited as, say, the books that inspired the ele individual Eleven or anything besides J.D. Salinger's Catcher in the Rye, but I have assumed that they were real books. Yeah, what? good assumption there, buddy. <laughs> and if these books written in our past, in our, comma, past, comma, have valid points in the future, comma, why shouldn't it be something that same future may have to deal with then? Are we in, like, an alternate... Yeah, Timeline where J.D. Is... Salinger didn't write fucking Catcher in the Rye or any of his other books? Uh, people are people until we aren't people anymore, right? Wow. Must be professor of the arts. We will have many of the same struggles as we, ha as we have in the past. I mean, that's why people still read holy books written thousands of years ago to find answers to the problems of today. Uh, what will be problematic is if we do not keep aware of what had happened, what is happening, in order to continue to improve upon their future, being unaware is so much of the problem. Okay. Holy fuck, does she ever reply to this guy? Continuing where we left off today, or left off during our discussion yesterday, sorry I had to rush off. Here are my brief, simple thoughts on the matter. How relevant do you feel the philosophy of... I think that if you remove <laughs> certain cyberpunk elements, the basis of social theory present uh, present present is well worth consideration. Uh, most present in the series is the titular standalone complex, where the unrelated actions of individuals who are unaware or have no contact with one another create an effort in concert. Okay, let me prove to the key. You're boring me here. As Gouda, mm, Gouda. Tried to bring about a refugee revolution. The goal face. This dude just seems like he's rambling on How just about, like, just, uh, I don't know what the fuck he's Oh, that's the end about. of it. Uh, of course, the standalone complex could be utilized to represent change. Are they talking about the anime? Of the Ghost in the Shell standalone complex? I don't, I, I, if those who possess the standalone complex believe that change has yet to be warranted or wish to safeguard against unnecessary change. You know what? I forgot that I can hold down the button. Oh, okay. No, it's or, fucking or, or nothing. Not yeah, standard complex relevant to any society, any society, blah, 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 blah. fucking smoke some fucking more weed, Professor Hassan. Uh, dear student, we are contacting you as a reminder to submit your final thesis. The final date of submission is the 30th of April, 5 p.m. Saturday, Eastern Time. Wait, Eastern Time? I thought she was in fucking London. Mm, yeah, I, I thought she was in London taking fucking classes. What? Man, I don't. I don't know. If you have already submitted your final assignment, kindly ignore this email. Thank you, University of History and Science. Okay. Still broken. Okay. Maybe I'll hold it on this one. Nope. Okay. Well, we're gonna go up to fucking party invite. This seems suspicious. Okay. Evidently, it's not <laughs> suspicious enough. All right. We're gonna talk about the poetry society. Okay. Fuck it. We're gonna go to buddy. Hey, buddy. All right. All right, not your buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking what? <laughs> Iris, talk to me. Can't believe I'm going through a gallery. Morality matters, not in times such as this. Wait, did we go through the gallery though? Will I, let us go through it now? It won't. Wait, offline. She's offline? I can't tap on it. I can't, yeah. Um... Why did she call 911? It was us. Don't tell her. Damn it. Can we call other people? Can See if you can call somebody. Uh. Let's see what she got in her favorites. Oh, yeah, that's right. These things are down here. Recent favorites. Derek Asshole. I like how she kept his phone number. Let's call mom. Hey, mom. Sorry your child is dead. Or missing. Or a ghost. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. How fucked up would that be? She's like, oh, oh my daughter's dead or missing. She's phone. calling me from her phone. No answer. Uh, uh, let's talk to Faith. How fucked up would that be, though? Did you know that there is an email service that you can uh, sign up to? That every, um, I think it checks back from you like every 30 days. Or maybe it's a week or two weeks or something like oh. that. But if you don't respond, they'll assume that you died. And you can you can set it up. So when you when it thinks that you're dead, it'll you set up a time, you know, 
a week after, two weeks after, 10 years after, whatever, to email a message that you wrote out to your loved ones after you died. It's what? like, it's There's like a real, death like, mail or something like that. That's crazy. Yeah. It's like a real like service or something. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I heard about it years ago, so I don't really know uh, too much about it. I don't remember too much about it, but yeah. It, it's kind of like the dead hand where if they – you have to continually um, basically say that you're around still. Mm-hmm. But if they don't get that signal, something automatically happens based off of that. And that will send crazy. out the email that uh, let your loved ones or – fuck, it could even be your enemies. You could be like, hey, yeah, I'm dead, but fuck you. I'm still haunting you. You could set up like 300,000 fucking oh, emails for them. Okay, what? Failed – yeah. Can I hold on this? Okay. I'm so confused, Iris. I can't talk to you because you're offline. Okay. Can I just hold it on the menu screen? Oh, wait, can I? No. Up, down, left, right. Fucking notes then. Oh, uh, deep shit, poopy butthole, make appointment for... <laughs> I didn't even spell it right. That's dumb. Oh, well. That's in line with our fucking theme of this, this game, evidently. Voicemail? Is that the button for voicemails? Let's call this guy. Okay. Ali Rahim. Like to order a pepperoni pizza? <laughs> Does nobody fucking answer? I feel like I'm calling my family. Holy shit, guys. Ooh, takeaway. Wang Fu Chao. Takeaway. What do you want? <laughs> we don't have your cat. <laughs> I don't know where to go. I, I don't know why it won't let us go. Fine, to we're gonna go to Buddy. Way. Fuck it. What? I don't. Jesus Christ, Buddy. What do we do? We went through the mail. Gallery's still fucked. I don't want to listen to the music because I don't want to get fucking copyright strikes. No. No! <laughs> Iris, talk to me. What? I think there might be more clues to her whereabouts if we look through her pictures. I can't. It's, I believe the gallery's corrupted. Tap and hold on the gallery icon. I thought I did. Oh. Oh, okay. I, didn't I, I, I try that? I just to click it. I didn't, I didn't yeah. realize I wanted us to hold oh, it. Oh, you know what? I clicked on it and then it gave me the error message and then I held down on it. That's oh. why. It seems Sarah has kept it locked. You will need a passcode to... Uh, that's, hint is Sarah's birthday. Oh, can't you just tell me? Valentine's Day. What should I start looking for? Where should... No, okay. Dude, fucking leave me alone. I know what day it is. I don't. Mike, Mike knew. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps there's somewhere on this device. Yeah, okay. What day is Valentine's Day? And how do I put it in if, by the way that the fucking Europeans uh, do it? Oh, so you gotta put the... You gotta put the day and then the month. Yeah. So what day is Valentine's Day? <laughs> February 14th, so January, February, that's 214, 0214 maybe? Yeah, I think I think it's going to have to be. Uh, 0214, happy birthday, okay, uh, 1402, yeah, wait a second, that's reversed, because it was European stuff. Wait, oh four one two one four oh two. Is that what we put no, in? No, okay, yeah, oh, yeah, you know I what? It was, it was right. right. Yeah, yeah, I just fucked it up. Okay. Oh, we might have to blur some pictures. Um, oh, there's a strange photo in the dot dot dot. Take a closer look at it. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Well, let's go through all of them. Let's okay. just go through all of them. Okay. Um, what is that? That's a little uh, yeah, unsettling. That's weird. Iris, help me here. Seems that photo correlated with the video on a message thread that Sarah recently deleted. Tap to continue. Would you like? Yeah, let's retrieve that shit. Please wait a moment. Did this bitch seriously take a picture of something creepy on the road and like didn't do anything else with it? I have successfully restored the message thread between Sarah and one of her contacts, James. Video should be something, something or other. Oh, okay. Well, she took the... Oh, shit. Is she dead in these photos? No, she's alive. Okay, because I was like, 
What if it's like, oh, that's the last picture she took, and so then wait, like the rest back. of them were. Who's taking these pictures of her? Oh fuck you! Oh fuck <laughs> you! That's fucking scary. <laughs> like, no, is... dude. Dude. So... No. See? Wait, because no, no, no. Before someone's taking pictures of her, also. Can we see anybody in the glass? No, it don't really look like it's it. Just a dick. All I see are dicks. <laughs> I don't. Hmm. Okay. Oh, she didn't look too happy in some of these. Okay. 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 They're in like a. Oh, she so she maybe had like roommates. Huh. Uh, she's a size small. I've done that before. <laughs> you get shirts and they have the size stickers on them. Oh. Kitty cat. Food. Food. That looks... Uh, lipstick on coffee. What is the picture? Arts? Something Something artists? Archie! Archie! Okay, she passed the fuck out. She's reading more books. Wait, wait, wait. The four lawmen of the apocalypse. Okay. Kitty. Kitty kitty. kitty 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 wait was that her that's her uh that's her desktop background mm -hmm. or her phone background i guess and there's derek and there's some guy grabbing derek's dick <laughs> <laughs> it was all innocent up until the man walked in and grabbed derek's penis oh god now he's doing something with his face and now derek's grabbing his penis now they're just staying there okay oh fuck a white ps2 I actually have a PS2 with a bunch of stickers on it, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yoga. Kitty cat and dog. And somebody farted. It's smelly. <laughs> okay. Oh, Derek, you are so artsy-fartsy. Uh, <laughs> he's so kawaii. <laughs> <laughs> That's not Derek. That was uh, the other guy. Oh. Uh-oh. The rabbit hole goes deeper. Is that chick? Whoa, my clicks like aren't clicking and making noise anymore. Wait, what? Oh, we're at the what? last picture. That was the last one. Was it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Albums. Videos. Fucking videos, dude. You know what? We're going to get to the videos uh, next time because, yeah, this fun's still at 23%. Holy shit, bebop boop. You what the fuck? That, I'm, I'm a little that like. That video is that one that we originally saw. I hope the screen doesn't do that crazy shit. So much spoops. The fact that it already started with that, I was like, ah, <laughs> not, I'm not sure about this. Not that it was creepy, but I was like, ah, okay, uh, you fucked me up because that was loud in my ears. <laughs> <laughs>